Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with breaking news. The state of Minnesota is on edge and bracing for another night of protests after the police shooting of a black man just a few miles from where former officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for killing George Floyd. Well, tonight the cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul are under states of emergency and the governor has imposed a seven o'clock curfew for surrounding cities. This after police in the Minneapolis suburb of Brooklyn Center released body cam video showing Dante Wright being killed during a traffic stop on Sunday. The chief there says the shooting was an accident, that the veteran officer who killed Wright thought she was firing her taser when she opened fire during a brief struggle with the 20-year-old. Wright's death set off violent protests overnight, and as we come on the air, today's release of that body cam video is doing little to calm a community and a country already outraged by the killing of George Floyd and frustrated by other recent encounters between police and people of color. We're going to cover it all tonight, and CBS's Omar Villafranca is going to lead us off tonight from just outside of Minneapolis in Brooklyn Center. Good evening, Omar. Good evening, Nora. There's a big crowd of protesters behind me blocking the street in front of the Brooklyn Center Police Department. On the other side, National Guardsmen and officers in full riot gear standing behind concrete barricades and fencing that they have just set up, getting ready for what could become another long night. This police body cam footage shows the final moments of 20-year-old Dante Wright's life. Officers attempt to handcuff Wright after a traffic stop when Wright struggles to get back in his car. Another officer comes to help. But it was a gun, not a taser that she fired. Wright managed to speed off, traveling a few blocks before crashing into another car. Authorities tried to revive him, but he died at the scene. Police Chief Tim Gannon described the shooting as an accidental discharge. It is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. The officer, who is described as very senior, has been placed on administrative leave. Calls for action against that officer are growing, including from Brooklyn Center's mayor. We recognize that this couldn't have happened at a worse time. Wright's killing sparked a night of chaos just 10 miles from where former officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for the murder of George Floyd. Protesters confronted police who responded with flashbangs and tear gas. As local businesses were also looted. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry declared a state of emergency, and the governor set a 7 p.m. curfew for the entire city. Spoken to the authorities there. And President Biden mentioned Wright's death. Uh, we should listen to uh, uh, Dante's mom, who is calling for peace and calm. The NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NHL have all postponed their games here in Minnesota. Again, there is a 7 p.m. curfew in place for tonight. And Nora will have to see what happens. All right, Omar Villafranca, thank you.